Aha! Diddy, come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask Them Zoo Playboy with the glasses. Are tennis balls yellow or green? That's a very good question. And the answer is yellowish green. Because it's mostly yellow, but it has a hint of green in it. What do you think? You've seen a tennis ball. I know something. Oh, yellow. But do you really think a tennis ball is green? No! The tennis court is green, but it's mostly yellow. With a hint of green. No, it's highlighter yellow. That's what the fucking answer is. I know what you're thinking. Why should you be specific for a simple answer? Because simplicity does not... You know. It's yellow is green. Wait, guacamole! That is green. Yes. It's April, but we're getting snow! Why can't it be spring? Because Mother Nature is pissed off at you. You must have done something to make her really, really, really mad, and because of that, she's getting even by causing a bunch of snowstorms. For those of you in the Northeast and the Upper Midwest, I vouch for you, because this is ridiculous! I should be enjoying nice spring weather. Have you not seen my creator's video on Instagram? Oh yeah, he does have an Instagram account now. You could sense the agony, the desperation, the hostility. Well, not really the hostility. Actually, he feels like a hostage. Well, not really that. But you get the idea. He desperately wants spring to come, essentially, is what he's saying. And quite frankly, I agree with him. It should not be snowing in April in any part of the country. Never! So you know what you should do? You should pray to God that there will be nice warmer weather. And then he will say, Fuck you, fuck you, you are only doing this just to, you know, make a fortune out of this crap. And then he'll doom you with more snow. So you're really in no man's land. You're stuck with the snow until the snow goes bye-bye. Which I believe will be in the next week or so. I hope to God. It's gonna snow, isn't it? Is Tiger Woods back? Yes. No, they mean is he back to being Tiger Woods a dominant, you fucking idiot. All right, Commander Loser, calm down. He's almost back, in that essence. Yes, he's back as in he's back playing golf. But is he really gonna be the Tiger Woods of old? Hardly doubt it, because a 40-year-old cannot dominate the golf landscape. However, it is nice to see Tiger Woods being in the hunt and being a contender. That's worth the admission as far as I'm concerned. Nothing against Jordan Spieth and all those youngsters, but goddammit, the golfing world needs Tiger Woods to be close to dominant as possible because no one is watching golf nowadays. Sad that that's coming down to the golf world. I'm sorry, were we watching something? I was in the middle of a baseball conversation. Were we talking about golf? Ugh. I like messing with Commander Loser. Yeah. With Roseanne back, what show do you believe should make a comeback? Brickleberry! Actually, no, not Brickleberry. Although Commander Loser would like Brickleberry to come back, hence he came up with the editorial of why Brickleberry got cancelled, even though it got the good ratings that it did. Now, if there's a show that should be on the comeback trail, I should think, uh, I don't know, say Jimmy Neutron? You know, make a Jimmy Neutron spin-off, you know, so it shows Jimmy Neutron as an adult. That would be interesting, don't you think? Of course, they did do that in a futuristic episode of Jimmy Neutron, so that kind of ruins the fun there. Yeah, fine, Brickleberry. Because I can't really think of any other good TV shows that's worth getting a reboot at this point. All the classics are, well, classics, because they took place well before I was born. So, it would make sense to bring them back, and... Ooh, let's see, Gilmore Girls attempted to do that on Netflix, and that... Kind of works, but that's not on the national landscape that Roseanne is getting. Well, if I guess if I have to pick one, it'd probably be Last Man Standing. It did not deserve the boot that it got. Much like Brickleberry did not deserve the boot it got. But Brickleberry will never be around again, unless you read the comics. Or follow them on Facebook or whatever. Last Man Standing, though, has been getting talk about potentially coming back. Because of Roseanne's comeback bid. 
Mainly because it's facts and why it's up. Because, well, 20th Century Fox was responsible for it, which made no sense that ABC would air them since 20th Century Fox helped with the show. But in any case, I think that should be the reboot. Come on, Tim Allen deserves something nowadays. If he can't freaking be vice president for Harrison Ford in 2020, then he needs to get this show back. He's gotta be doing something because he can't be Buzz Lightyear forever or, uh, Scott Calvin. Yeah. Unless they want to come up with a Santa Claus 4, in which case I'd be down for that. That's another editorial that the Commander Loser. Have you noticed I've been promoting him lately? I can't believe I'm promoting him on my videos. Let's move on. Where is Sesame Street? It's in New York. And I'm being serious. I'm not kidding around. If you watch Follow That Bird, it shows exactly where Sesame Street is. It's right down there in New York. Right nearby New York City. I know what you're thinking. How can you prove that? I just proved it to you. Watch the movie and you'll find out for yourself. Unless you want to Google it, I'm sure you'll find wonderful answers on that channel. Or website or something like that. But I'm telling you, Sesame Street is in New York. And believe me, it's much more enjoyable than the goddamn fucking Yankees. Sorry, Yankees fans, but me being a Twins fan have a burden on you. By the way, yay, home opener soon! Why am I getting off track here? Let's get back on track and go to Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Well, that depends on where you are. Where you are. Where are you currently at? No one cares. Just tell them how to get there. Okay, fine. Take the airplane to LaGuardia Airport and Sesame Street's gonna be right there. I just saved you a shit ton of time. Too bad you can't save him in air mileage. Ha 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 Alright, that's it, come here, Lewis. I've had it with you. It's time to put you in your place. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance! Ha ha ha! Seriously, take the plane to LaGuardia. But don't run into a pilot that says, Welcome to LaGuardia Airport. Well, how could someone who is just arriving herself possibly welcome me into a place she isn't even at yet? Doesn't this violate some fundamental laws of physics? We're only on the ground for seconds and she's coming on like the fucking mayor's wife. I don't know why I'm ripping on George Carlin or referencing him. Mainly because I like George Carlin. Now, if you were to drive to Sesame Street... Take I-70 all the way to New York. It'll turn into I-95 and then I-43 and then I-Infinity and ultimately Sesame Street. If you're coming from hell, well, you can mountain climb your way up to Sesame Street and probably dig your way out. If you're coming from heaven, dive bomb down! You know, bonsai! <laughs> Something like that. And that is how you get to Sesame Street. Now, I hope you're taking notes, because there will be a quiz on this soon. No, there won't. Yes, there is. How do you get to Sesame Street? Cross it! Um, you, you, you can take the airplane to LaGuardia, mama. If you're in hell, mama, you can dig your way up, mama, with the mountain piggy, mama. And if you're in uh, heaven, bonsai! Yeah, mama. Very good, really. You get an A. Which is ironic, because you really don't know much other than that. win an eating contest? Cookie Monster, Fat Albert, or Garfield? Well, that depends on what kind of contest it is. If it's a cooking eating contest, Cookie Monster. If it's a lasagna eating contest, Garfield. Now, if it's some other kind of food, Fat Albert. I mean, come on, Fat Albert can eat just about anything. Cookie Monster is reduced to cookies, hence he's diabetic. Garfield is reduced to lasagna, and because of all the cholesterols and all the fat he's getting, he's gonna... Get diabetes as well. Whereas Fat Albert can eat just about anything his heart desires, and you could probably see where that winds up. But hey, hey, hey! Who wants to play? Me! Because I can challenge all three of them to an eating contest and possibly finish in second to Fat Albert. Because I can eat just about anything. Quick guacamole! Yes! With Nankara now gone, what will happen to Channel Awesome? Oh, this is in response to the pressure of them being under the gun because of this document that's unfolded on social media. 
Oh, they'll be fine! You know Channel Awesome is basically revolving around the nostalgia critics, so as long as Doug Walker is capable of doing reviews, that channel will be fine. But I'll tell you what they should do instead! Well, first they should offer a sincere apology to all the old cast members of That Guy With The Glasses, because that was the name of the website at the time, and kindly invite them back by getting rid of the fucking CEO or whoever the hell's in charge of that fucking mess. So that way Doug Walker can be reunited with his friends and they can rename the channel again to thatguywiththeglasses.com. Of course, if they do that, there's the potential of bringing back Ask That Guy With The Glasses. Hence, I won't be able to get on. Which I should, because I'm still shooting videos, goddammit! Allow me to rebuttal. Nah, 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 nah. Who would win a dance off? Batman or Spider Man? Oh, I know where this is going. Alright, that's it. Kill the music. Kill this. It's because of that guy, isn't it? Mr. Kano Spider Man, who thinks he can dance all over the place. And do it rather impressively, mind you. Yes, for those of you who are wondering, Kano Spider is the YouTube channel. He's also got an Instagram account and a Twitter account, so this is where you want to watch his videos, but this is basically what he does. You really think he would win a dance-off with Batman? Um, I beg to differ. Candace music! Alright. It's time to show you who's legit when it comes to dance-offs. Alright, play me on, Johnny! This is that Mizzou Playboy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question, but I'm the best dancer in the goddamn world because I'm Batman!